Hi everybody, this is a quick tutorial on the Blender add-on Notebar. Notebar is a very simple um, bar that you can toggle on and off in your shader editor. You just drag and drop nodes from these little icons down here. And this way you can add nodes faster than using the drop-down menus or searching for them by name. To install node bar, same as usual, go to Preferences, Add-ons, and install the, the zip file you downloaded. Enable the add-on, and you can change the hotkeys for node bar here as well. By default, it's A for full bar and B for mini bar. I recommend keeping them simple to have quick access to node bar. These hotkeys only work when you're inside Shader Editor, so they won't interfere with any of the 3D view hotkeys, for example. Now let's go to the shader editor and check out how this thing works. So there are two main modes for node bar, full bar and mini bar. Full bar is exactly what it sounds like. It's a long horizontal bar that gives you all the nodes available in the shader editor. Depending on your UI layout, your monitor size, etc., you might want to have this in one, two, or even three rows. You can move the bar by dragging it with the right mouse button and resize it with the middle mouse. If this looks like a lot of icons, just know that the more you use node bar, the faster you get at remembering and pulling out these nodes. Because they're always in the same place, after a while you won't have to think about where a node can be found, or even the name of the node. It just becomes muscle memory. Now as for the mini bar, this is not exactly what it sounds like. No tiny liquor bottles or candy bars here. Mini bar is your own custom node bar. You can create it and customize it right here in the end panel. Add slots with the plus button here, and choose a node from the list. If you leave a slot empty, that will be a gap in the mini bar. So that might be useful for grouping node categories together. Press this add row button here at the top if you want to organize your nodes into multiple rows. Each row can also be labeled down here so you can come up with your own categories. Don't forget to save changes when you're done customizing the mini bar. If you happen to forget the hotkeys, there are these two little icons up here in the header, which will show you what key to press for full bar and mini bar. And those can be clicked to toggle the node bars on and off. And same as the buttons in the end panel, you can also change the hotkey by right clicking and choosing change shortcut. So that's about all there is to node bar. It's a simple add-on, but hopefully you'll find it useful. Let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions, or if you happen to find any issues along the way. And I'll be sure to address your feedback. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.